The Game Boy Camera was seen as a revolutionary piece of technology when it first hit shelves in 1998. The idea that you could take real pictures with your Game Boy, and print them no less, was unthinkable at the time. Tons of kids rushed to stores to buy the world's smallest digital camera to go with their Game Boy Color, blissfully unaware of what to expect from the game that came with it. The game came with several mini-games aside from the typically simple picture editing software. You could even play a Space Invaders type game with your picture as the final boss. The main menu interface included the options Shoot, View, and Play. If the player chose to shoot on the interface, they'd be greeted by a screen that resembled some sort of strange Japanese RPG. More options would appear on the screen, such as Shoot, Items, Magic, Check, and Run. If the Run option was selected, a strangely distorted face would appear on the screen. The face appeared to be doodled on, with fake hair, lips, eyebrows, and eyes crudely drawn over a male's face. A black star could be seen, imprinted on the face's forehead. The man in the photo seems to be posing with one finger over his mouth, as if telling someone to shush. The picture comes with a caption as well, which reads, Who are you running from? In the American version of the game slash accessory, two other faces can randomly appear throughout. One face seems to be of a man whose face has also been drawn on. He's been given female hair and a bizarre wave symbol has been drawn on his forehead. The other face was obviously female, with artificial eyes and drawn pigtails. This face had the same wave symbol drawn onto her forehead. These faces were occasionally accompanied by the same eerie inquiry. The Japanese version of the game had two additional faces that would pop up at random intervals while playing. First face seemed to be a male, scribbled eyes, an unnerving smile. It's unclear whether or not the hair on this face is real. The resolution is extremely low. The face also had waves drawn onto its forehead. The final face is seemingly of a man with a drawn scowl and cartoonishly long hair. The eyes of this face are also doodled, as well as most of the other features on the face. This face is the only one without a symbol on its forehead. It's also the only face without a devilish synthetic smile. Another more subtle difference is that this picture seems to have been taken in a different location than all the others. The previous face is all of nothing but a white backdrop, but this one seems of some sort of object in the background. It is believed that these pictures are the result of a kidnapping done by a strange cult. The figure with a black star drawn on its forehead is said to be the leader of the group, while the others with waves were said to be disciples. The face without any symbols and the dark scowl is believed to be the unlucky victim. It is unclear what the condition of the victim is in the photograph, or how these pictures manage to be included in the game. The motive of the cult is also unclear, as no body that resembled the victim was ever recovered.